September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Hey, Ashworth, they was talking about you like you was like this, like this, this, this big boss that was, un, you know what I'm saying? I'm not feeling all that to be to be real with you. I'm not feeling that. So I got the cell phone. I got the autopsy that showed that she died at nine, five, nine o'clock p.m. Blunt force drama, instantaneous death. Broken shards, I don't know what that means exactly yet. But yeah, a thinker, okay. Wiretap, we got that in the bag. Maya, we know this cap. Woo, Edgeworth, let me see some, let me see what you talking about. Let's see what you talking about, boy. What you talking about? The defense is ready, your honor. Miles Edgeworth. Looks like a bitch. Soft. I better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, uh, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, your honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, was at the scene of the crime. Big Edgeworth, we not scared. Stop hype, stop gassing him up, cause your boy about to lose. Stop gassing his ass up. The persecution has the evidence that she, she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The persecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, your honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the persecution calls the chief officer at the scene. Detective Gumshoe, that stupid idiot. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. I, I know, like, there had to have been so many murder murderers and, like, so much evidence missed because of this nigga. <laughs> he's, like, 30, so he's been on the job for a bit. I know I know they was, like, running up numbers on him. People's putting up whip stats. Bubble Boy. I see why they call you Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to bleeding struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Now, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Frey, Maya Frey, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Y yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. <clears throat> detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Let's get to it. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Frey, Maya Frey, and a lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Frey, Fay. Why we had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the moment of the murder. Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a signal contradiction in that statement. 
I got who smacked me? Yeah, who the fuck smacked me? What's up? What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Okay, so even if I don't have evidence, press them on something. Let's 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 wing it. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's get this a try. All right, let's get to it, man. Something to matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross examination. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already defendant Miss Maya Frey and a lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Frey. Why, we had a witness describing her. Oh shit. I, d I didn't know that was the button. Oops. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did, right? Correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly what about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? W what? Miss May is a suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess Preston can have his advantages. Okay. That's something new. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your statement again. Come on. Yeah, bring bring up that note. Bring up that note. That's easy evidence. Okay. With your own eyes. Keep talking. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Cool. Yeah, you fucked up. The lab, lab test results showed uh, that the victim was uh, the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y your Honor? Why didn't you testify about the vital piece of evidence the first time? Because he sucks. Uh, um, I know I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. He fucking sucks. <laughs> this is the sorriest Detective I've ever seen in my life, bro. Hey, he's sorrier than fucking Sasuke the Savage. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin this cross-examination. It's easy. Get to it. Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia me, me Frey, wrote this note. Chill on my man Gumshoe, he's a bum. Kyoko would never. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Frey. That's really what you're saying? Hold on, I need a piece of paper. Hold on, I need, I need some props. Hold on, I need to, hold on. We gotta get right, man. Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? The murderer? Hm. <laughs> Stupid nigga. You have it backwards, detective. But backwards? Hold on. Got you. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. Stupid boy. This is a report from your department, detective. 
immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. Bro, you don't read your own reports. She died immediately. But no butting your way out of this one, detective. Damn, damn, <laughs> he really got him on that one. Yeah, he cold. Order, order. The defense has a point. I always do. Like a ballpoint pen. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Objection. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you attain that autopsy report? The day after the murder? Like what? Or should I say I forgot? Can he press me on that? I'm gonna say I forgot, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Stupid nigga. <laughs> ha, forgot you say. It was the day after the murder, your sir. Your honor, your honor, sir. I was the one who handed it to myself, personally. Oh, right. The prosecution's point, point being, the autopsy report is outdated, your honor. What? No way. This is what y'all do? The oh, nah, bro. Oh, hell nah. Niggas making fake autopsy reports? Oh, nah, bro. I just got hold. Oh my God, I just got hold, bro. Oh, you gonna do a bow? Okay, you think you cold, huh? You think you cold. Damn you, Edgeworth. Should've known you had something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? I mean, you capping. I ain't gonna. Man, the detective's stupid, bro. I'm blaming this stupid ass. This nigga's a fraud. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I, I thought. Detective Gumshoe. Er. I'm disappointed in you. Handing him the wrong report like that. <laughs> what? Why we jump this thing? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I just did the wrong thing though. Damn, you know when he get an evaluated? What? what but. but your Honor, I submit this report to the court. The court accepts the evidence. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identified uh, was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion. Yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call this next witness. This poor innocent, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Damn, she bad as fuck. Them titties crazy. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Witness, your name, please. April May, at your service. Damn, she bad as fuck. Damn, damn, damn. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Aw, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, where were you on the night of September, uh, September uh, 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. Teehee. I checked in right after lunch. 
And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Cole law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Big boy. <laughs> Please testify to the court about what you saw. Let's get to it. Everyone in this trial with the dick is in trouble. It was like 9 a.m. at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was this, was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. To what side? But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got your stupid ass. We got your stupid ass. She dodged one way. We got the light bulb right there. She would, if she would have did that, it would be like glass under her shoe. Where is that? Like, yeah, we got your stupid ass. Cause there was only one window open. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing it. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Oh. Well, your honor, I see it is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. W wait, your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm. Didn't you? What? What's wrong with this judge? Stay focused. Like I'm laser focused. Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies, bro. Shut your bitch ass up. Don't talk about Mia. Don't talk about her. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine a witness? Hell yeah. Careful, careful, Sasuke. Your evil's working. Don't worry. I'm focused. I'm focused. It was like 9 a.m. at night. I looked out the window, you know. She fucked up right there. She said like 9, 9 a.m. Hmm. Let's, let, let us let her keep talking. Let me make sure. Let's see. She dodged, dodged what? Well, the attack. Please continue your testimony. But that girl, she called up to her and she hit her. Hmm, that's it. Nothing really jumps out as a contradiction. There's got to be something in there somewhere. Maybe I better just press her on the facts a bit. Let's see. Let's 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 test it. Why'd you do that, huh? Why? Like why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh well. Um. Gee. What? That's it. She can't get out out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know. <laughs> Had a feeling. <clears throat> yeah, surely you must have had a reason. I oh, Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. But badgering. You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh. 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 That's how y'all feel. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Okay. You saw a, long, a woman with long hair being attacked. Then the one attacking her was this mousy girl sitting in a defender's chair. I'm pressing you on that. How you seen the details of her face? How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know. She, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? They're booing you because you're right. There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I, fuck that. I question that. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. It smells like ass. Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. You're lying. Are you telling me to telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Oh, damn. She may be capping, but damn, look at them titties. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this. I mean, okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Frey, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up, yeah. Eat up, eat up, yeah. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert, e expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Rar, what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think about all that trifling little details were necessarily, darling. <laughs> Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Hmm. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. She then hit her with a weapon. I saw it. I did. How the fuck you saw that? Okay, this is a testimony. She ran to the right. Okay. I got you. She is not fooling us. Let's get to it. I feel like I have evidence to contradict that, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me look at it again. I mean, no, because her body, her body was like right in the middle. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't make no damn sense. Hold on. But they can, they can just say that she crawled to that spot, maybe. Let's press her on this. Because she said she saw it. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? 
that that clock um that's kind of statuey clock the thinker i think how did she know it was a clock though Ah, uh, I may fuck up here. Ah, uh, I may fuck up here. Just how the fuck would she know it was a clock? Let's see. Let's see if it works. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? I would like that. We're learning a new game. It's fine. Naughty Mr. Lawyer. Trust yourself. You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock, but there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. We on demon time. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this clock too, but he was found guilty of murder. Yeah, it is right. He spit. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, er... Objection. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all the important... That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with the trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection. Fuck that. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Ejection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. That's what I'm talking about, big boy. You know how I get down, Judge. Hey, let's get on. Phew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. What? Huh, what? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that's... Because I heard it? Yes, I heard it. It say the time. Pardon me? So, you've been to the law offices of Faye and Cole? N no, no, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. He <laughs> he. The law offices of Faye and Cole where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. It's not that damn close. What? Hell no, I'm not satisfied. What the fuck? That don't make no damn sense. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard that shit. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. Objection. You have proof that she could not? Uh, Amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In a courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Then I would like to per uh, propose a test to see if she could really have heard it. Have heard. The persecution denies your request. But what? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed, objection sustained. Oh my God, bro. Fuck this judge. Suck my dick. Suck my dick, bro. Okay, let's switch up then. Let's get, let's get to it then. It's good. I don't know about that. Oh yeah, it is broken. I forgot. Oh, well, it's not broken. It's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Oh, 
Oh shit, I ain't Damn. How, how could you possibly? Just take a look. Right now. Oh. See anything interesting, your honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing his clockwork, but he could just say that it was missing afterwards. Shh, I may get caught on this, but that's all I got. Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. F fat? He could say it, yes, but if he don't say it, don't answer for him in your head. Ha -ha. I mean, he he has to. If he's worth the salt, he has to. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. Stop drinking a, a court. <laughs> right, nigga, attorney at law. Um, he knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you forgot one thing. However, indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork move? See, that's that was an easy thing for him to press. That was the easy ass thing for him to press, bro. If it was after the witness is heard, after the witness heard the clock, there is no contradiction. Why he be looking so shocked? Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. Don't matter. Make him earn his pay. Folks come out with a ga uh, game blouse outfit. <laughs> He do got the frills. The clock might have been empty after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, your honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clock clockwork was removed? I can, I can. Matter of fact, let me make sure. Got you, got you, got you, bitch boy. Yes, I can. Yeah, you ain't know about this. Yeah, keep smiling, bitch ass boy. Big ass chin ass boy. I got you. I have proof. W what? Yeah, you ain't know about this. Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was moved is. Take, Take a look at this. Hmm? That's a very cute cell phone, I know. Oh, ho, oh, you have a girly phone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen, this is a defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim of the day of the murder. Oh, shit. Damn, he got the evidence. Yeah, pressing on. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? Yeah, you ain't know about that. You ain't know about that. Uh-huh. This wasn't brought to your attention because it wasn't framed in that way, boy. What you think me a die for, bruh? Hold up, man. Hold on. I'm about to get emotional. Hold on. Let, take this. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. Yeah, put this on my Bluetooth speaker. Let's hear, let's hear the conversation, man. I wish this had some voice actor. Aside from the objection. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could, ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. 
your honor. I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded, which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it uh, obvious? I saw that clock before. You just said you wasn't there. Um, what store was that again? I I got so I got I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Wink. <laughs> so the witness has seen it before. That would make judge. That nigga lie. <laughs> <laughs> Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes! He blinded by the heavies. The witness claims she has seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen a clock before. This was made by Larry, bro! Oh... Hey, 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 hey. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. It was only two. What? what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Uh, impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's hot. It's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. What is the titties doing? Ah! What's it to you, porcupine head? Oh, she got crazy. She went crazy on us. That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. She should die. She is better than the Mia. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yo. Whoa. Mia is better. <laughs> whoa. Chill out. Th this is a court of law, and a witness will remain calm. <sighs> Her eh oh uh, oh 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 ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho S silly me <laughs> yo she's going crazy Sassy so still gonna try to try to smash after this You don't know me You don't know what what I would do or what I wouldn't do Did I um like lose it? I guess I did Tee Scary Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Belle Del Delphine went through uh, some tough times. Well, that wasn't a no. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Yeah, she's a fucking liar. So throw her whole testimony out of the window. Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You had heard about I don't think she held it. I don't think she held it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. Wait, what? However... She had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known to think it was a clock. And I could show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the we murder weapon was a clock. Let's get to it then. Have a look at this. 
Yeah. Yeah. I found this in Miss May's room. Damn, that nigga got evidence on evidence on evidence. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Oh, oh. Your Honor, this is relevant. I'm not entirely, entirely sure that uh, that it is. Objection overruled. <laughs> yeah, judge in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have, have to, uh, to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on a phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is. That's all I got, right? Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold. I want you to hold on to. Uh, hold on to for me. Again, what's this? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I. Objection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. What the fuck? Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! <laughs> She's panicking! She's panicking! Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, wow, okay. We, that's not working, that's not moving me. She used a hard L word. That did it, the court seen the real Miss April May just, May now. As God as my witness, as God as my witness, you know? Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Is it tippy tippy tapping or irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. April realized she's not built for this. While the court does not condone this defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha, huh, i like to see her pull that off. Let me say it. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Psycho? Is that you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course I can and I will. You can't be serious, no way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hmm. Okay, so the killing happened around 9 a.m. at night. Why is that a question mark? Why, that's just when I was getting to my uh, getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee. 
Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. I didn't say that. Huh? Bitch, I never said she was at the fucking scene. I just said she was tapping the phone. That the witness appears to have been tapping the witness phone, telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. I don't think she killed her. But she working with somebody. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Frey, Faye, commit murder. No. They're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I could win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on. Think of something. Hmm. Continue examining Miss May. Call the bellboy as a witness. Uh, they probably got the bellboy on payroll, but she's so charged up right now. There's no way they got to the bellboy. Let's press the bellboy, bro. I feel like he weak. I feel like he weak as fuck. The bellboy weak as hell. Let's get to him. Let's get to it. Let's talk. Let's talk to him, Dan. Let's talk to the bellboy. Come on. Yeah. Let's talk. I don't give a fuck what you think. What's up? I object to calling the bellboy. Yeah, cause you ain't you didn't coach him. You didn't get to coach him. All oh, moan to you, motherfucker. Let's get to it. Well, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Oh, that's good with me. I don't think she committed the murder. I never thought she committed the murder. Wait, 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 wait. what the fuck? And there, boy, you, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for what? Bitch, that's what? That's a stupid ass condition. What kind of condition is that? If you don't, if you don't find anything with the bellboy, yeah, your defendant is guilty. What? That's stupid as hell. You think I'm gonna give up? Hold on. Let me see. What? Do I look like a bitch to you? I call my own shot, bro. I bet on myself. Where are my dice at? Where my dice at? I don't got my dice. I bet on myself. Understood. I accept your condition. Fool, you fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Uh um. Wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe you're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Why are you still holding that, bro? <laughs> you don't have to hold that no more, bro. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of my work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at Fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 a.m. in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on a dot, sir. Damn, she bad. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Damn. And I delivered the iced coffee to our, our guest, Miss May herself. Let's get to it. I 
I am the head bellboy at Fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I believe I received a call after 8 a.m. in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Cool. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9, 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. Why 9 a.m. on the dot, bro? Let me press you real quick. 9 o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes. I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. 9 o'clock on the time, uh, the time of the murder. I brought her to her, uh, to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee uh, to our guest, Miss May herself. Let's press you on this. Precisely nine o'clock then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insisted that it be brought there. Oh, bellboy, tee I like, I, oh, she, oh, he's a, he's doing a impersonation. Oh, bellboy, tee I like, like iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of nine o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? I don't think there's anything I could really. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so certain? You're very certain. Well, when I brought the the room service, sir. <laughs> oh, he got the <laughs> he got the maid booty. <laughs> Hold up. She she the guest sir favored me with a. It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, uh, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Oh, a, a kiss got you like that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. <laughs> it was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Bro, calm down. You're a grown man. Am I dead? Did I lose? I think I lost. I feel like I should give up on a bell boy. But does giving that up mean I give up on that case, the case entirely? I don't know. Let's give up. Cause like, yeah, let's give up. Oh, okay. See, if I give up, I lose the whole case. One last uh, question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Ashworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it. Now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? This is for everything, bro. Check in, room service, bed making. $18, doesn't that seem a little expensive? Why am I harping on that? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. Got you. 
iced coffee for two. Interesting. Interesting. There we go. What did he just say? <laughs> what did you just say? Oh yeah, we got you now. Okay. I was I was scared I was doing things wrong. Okay, we cool now. We cool. We back in the driver's seat. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? We got his ass. I object. That was uh objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Er, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? W well, sir, you er didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the er good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who. You were there? Oh, he told you not to say that. As God is my witness, this looks like a corrupt prosecution. Judge. Yeah, dime your stupid ass out. Uh-huh. You, you fool. Dime your dumb ass out. No, you, you know you ain't supposed to be talking to the witnesses. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought the rooms, them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor. We have just learned of another person involved who may have been a murderer. In light of this new fact, I hope that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man who checked in with Miss May. Ooh! Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt, Edgeworth. Uh-huh, I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass. Your Honor. As has pr as been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in that room at the time of the murder. M my, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you like... You'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? I'm on your ass, boy. After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Like a 12 gauge to the chest. You gonna experience me, boy. You know who you dealing with? You know how many cases I don't fucking solved? Huh? Who the fuck you think you playing with, Edgeworth? You a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your cheek. Upstart amateur. Th these accusations are ludicrous. Edgeworth on the ropes now. Make him feel it. Yeah. I'm going to put it on him. Enough. You don't have to cook that nigga that bad. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into the this minor f fully. Am I understood? Yes. <laughs> Your Honor. Ah, oh, I got that boy gas. He gasped for air like I just hit him with the Nova gas. Oh, Nova gas out. <gasps> yes. Your Honor. I didn't know he was that f cold. That nigga different. You ain't know about me, huh? You not in the bubble no more, boy. This ain't no Mickey Mouse shit, nigga. You got to You out of Orlando. It's Tampa, Florida, boy. And there's a beast that lurks there by the name of Sasuke, the motherfucking savage. Yeah, he got him a little tie. He got him a dress shirt, dress pants, you know, some 
some nice ass Stacy Adams, your ring, chain, headband, tied his dreads up, and he got his briefcase, and he said, oh, I'ma give it to you, nigga. I'ma give it to you. You wasn't ready for this. You know what I'm saying? Them other, them other little, you know, DAs, they was a little shook of you. They told me I had to be worried about this genius named Edgeworth. He became a lawyer at 20. He passed the bar with flying car colors. You know what I told him? I told him, I don't give a fuck. You know who I am? I know who he is. Does he know who I am? That's all. Uh, that is all today for the trial of uh, Maya Frey. Faith. Court is adjourned. I just whooped his ass, man. Get that nigga a Gatorade. Get that nigga a Gatorade, bro. <laughs> yeah, cook up some more evidence, bro. Mr. Wright. You're the coldest nigga I have ever saw. You were amazing there. Really? Shit, that's what I do. I think I might be your newest fan. Yeah, get in line. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool. To huh? That face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. Why do y'all sent for this man Edgeworth, man? I just whooped his ass. I just whooped his ass in, in court. And you simping. Get real, bro. Matter of fact, hold on. This for the murder of your sister, bro. He obviously cooking up evidence to go against your sister. You up here simping. What is wrong with you, bro? Get serious, man. If you say so. You look like a little bitch to me, but that's beside the point, I guess. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? No. Um, well, no, I don't think so. Not yet. It's not over. Oh, I see. Don't worry. I got you. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Ooh. Edgeworth is cold game, recognize the game, and I don't recognize him. He not looking familiar to me. I don't know no motherfucking Edgeworth. I don't, I don't have no enemies. They call me Thorfinn. I don't got no goddamn enemies. That man is light work. That's a motherfucking cone. That's a traffic cone to me. I'm a motherfucking monster truck. Stop playing. Edgeworth ain't nothing to me. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... He, yeah, he did it. Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. Asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony were, was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stri uh, stricken from the record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center. And it's up to me to set her free. To be continued. Life is just death taking this time. Who gonna take it from my hand? Was lonely before friends. I'm holding my own hand and taking these bad shots. Just hoping they go in. Everything folds in.